Hello, Stepping Friends. I'm Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cars. I'm an independent Stepping Up demonstrator in Iowa. And welcome. Today I have a two panel fun fold card to share with you. And this inspiration came to me from the Paper Pixie. So if you haven't watched any of her videos, you might want to, uh, to try those. And I have switched uh, my card up a little bit than what she did and uh, use an entirely different stamp set and I'm adding a belly band to my two panel fun fold. So let me turn the camera down and we will start stamping. And if this is the first time you're here, welcome. And thanks to those of you that are returning. Please consider if you like this card, give me a, a, a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. So let me show you the card that we're going to make tonight. So this is the, the card. We're going to be using the stamp set Kindest Gnomes and the dies that go with, which are called the Gnome dies. And then the thank you comes from a stamp set go to greetings. And what I like about this stamp set, it has uh, different fonts and also different sizes of um, like thank you, a little bit larger, and happy birthday, uh, written in several fonts in different sizes. And then we're going to be using the Gingham Cottage 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. And I just love this uh, Gingham paper. And I will show you in the catalog where you can, uh, can find this. So our card has a belly band that just slides right off. So you can open up the two panel card. Now I've already written inside this particular card. I have it ready to send to, to someone, uh, but we're going to make one. So you'll be able to see, uh, how I, um, decorated the inside and then the belly band just slides right on the card and keeps it closed all right let's get started you will find the stamp set the kindest gnomes in our mini catalog july through december 2022 on page 42 and 43 um, you can buy the entire storybook gnome suite and it does come with beautiful designer series paper but i'm not using the storybook gnomes designer series paper today i'm going to be using the gingham paper but i will be using the kindest gnome stamp set and um and the dies today And also in our mini catalog, July through December 2022, which I like calling the holiday catalog, on page 59, the Gingham 12 by 12 designer series paper actually is in a Gingham Cottage suite, but you can buy the designer series paper by itself. And there are 48 sheets of this Gingham paper. You get four each of 12 double-sided design. And it, excuse me. And again, on page 59 is where you will find the Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. And Real Red, Blushing Bride, Pumpkin Pie, Garden Green, Mint Macaron, and Basic Black are the colors that you'll find in that gingham. So I brought in our trimmer and I'm bringing in for our card base, pumpkin pie. And normally we can make two card bases out of one sheet of cardstock. But for this particular card, we're only gonna be able to get one uh, card out of it. So I'm going to, um, it'll be five and a half by 11. So this is our 11, so I'm gonna turn this because we want, uh, our 11 inches already there for us. And then we are going to place this at five and a half. And then this piece here, you can 
uh, save for another project. And then I'm going to slide this out and I'm going to bring in our Simply Score. And I'm going to place this so the 11 inches along the, uh, the top there. And I'm going to score this at one and three fourths. So again, one and three fourths. And then I'm going to turn this over like this. And I'm going to score at five and a half. So here's five and here's a half. And I just kind of make that little groove and then just go straight down with my stylus. And then I'm going to score at nine and three fourths. All right, and now let me move this out of the way. And now I'm going to fold this. And then I'm going to fold this over and use my bone folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this. And let's see, I did, I think I need to fold this the opposite way. There we go. So this is what you want when you're finished. So we'll try this again. Let's open it up. So I'm going to start with the smaller. I'm going to fold that over. Then I'm going to fold this over. And then I'm going to fold this. And I'm going to fold it like this so you see the two panels. And it opens up like this. I'm going to use our Stamparatus for the inside layer. And I'm using Basic White 5 and a fourth by 4. And I'm using the thick Basic White, but you could use the regular or the thick. And I'm going to place this in, in our Stamparatus up in the corner. And as you know, the Stamparatus on the back, it has two magnets that you can use. I'm actually not going to use the magnets tonight. I think as long as I keep it up in the corner, I should be fine. And I'm going to be using the Mushroom House. I'm going to leave my stamp set right here so the plate kind of lays right there. Then I'm going to take our Mushroom House and I'm going to turn it and I'm not going to put it all entirely on this uh, layer. As you can see, I have a little bit showing here where it was stamped off when I made the first card. But I'm going to just kind of, I want a little bit of the door showing. Okay. And let's try that again and let's turn it around this way because we want the imprint to be on our card, right? Okay, so we are going to place it about right there. And then I'm going to bring the plate over and bring in our tuxedo memento black and I will try to get this so you can see it I need a little bit more workspace don't I sorry about the glare there okay and then I'm just going to ink up our stamp and I got a little bit of ink here so I'm going to turn this over I'm going to make sure it's in the corner 
and then I'm going to close this and I'm going to press down and then I'm going to add some more ink because I want a really crisp image and that's what I like about the Stamparatus because you can get you can just keep stamping it and it will be in the same place so I'm going to bring this back over and press that down and then bring it up and here is part of our mushroom house on our inside layer so let me lay that aside and then let me move everything out of the way and in case you're wondering I just bring my chamois and just clean off my stamp I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Stamparatus because I'm going to stamp, stamp a greeting inside on our layer and you wouldn't have to use Stamparatus but since we have it out I think that would be great and I'm going to use your kindness does not go unnoticed so here is your kindness does not go unnoticed and I'm going to place this kind of where I want it to go and get it lined up and straight then I'm going to bring this over and place that stamp set right there and let me try to get it in the viewing area and I'm going to be using garden green So I will stamp that up, make sure this is in the corner, and your kindness does not go unnoticed, and I think that's just great. That will work just fine. So we'll close up our ink. I'm going to bring in that chamois to clean our stamp set. Or the, not the set, stamp set, but the stamp. And now I can go ahead and put the Stamparatus away. So we are going to add our designer series paper. And I'm going to go ahead and just use my bone folder on these creases again. Now, you could most certainly turn it this way to open your card. Uh, I'm going to uh, place my card this way, so it's going to open like this. And I'm going to go ahead and add the designer series paper. So I'm going to bring in the gingham, and I have two pieces that are the same. And then I have chosen... Uh, a designer series paper that is a different uh, garden green. So I'm going to start with the largest piece and this is um, five and a quarter by three and a half. So again it's five and a quarter by three and a half and this is going to be placed right here. Now I am going to go ahead and use my green blue. I often use a little my stamp and seal when I use um, when I add glue to designer series paper but I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little and I'm going to open it up this way so I can place it easy quicker and easier and get it lined up and the liquid glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room and then I'm going to take the garden green and of course you could you have two choices so you could most certainly use this side or use any of the, the gingham that you like 
in the package. And I'm going to place this right here and I'm going to try to kind of line it up across here and across the bottom. And this garden green, this is one and a half by five and a quarter. So one and a half by five and a quarter. And I want to keep this folded so I can see the pumpkin pie designer series of gingham paper that I used so I can get it kind of lined up there the best I can. And then I'll press that down. And then I have the pumpkin pie gingham. And this is one inch by five and a quarter. Again, one inch by five and a quarter. And it's going to go on this panel right there. So we will add some liquid glue. And again, I want to keep that closed so I can try to line that up evenly. Okay, so we've added our designer series paper. And now let's go ahead and finish our stamping. I'm going to bring in a scrap of basic white. We have two scraps. And I am going to use the sentiment is the go to greetings. And again, I like this because it has um, happy birthday several times and in different fonts. Just a note, thinking of you, thank you. I'm going to be using thank you. And you can find that stamp set go to greetings in, in our annual catalog on page 26. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp thank you in garden green. And I could use the Stamparatus, but I don't think I am. I'm just going to go ahead and just I'm going to do that one more time because I feel like I didn't quite. There we go. We got it more even there. And I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to bring in our other scrap. And I'm going to bring in our little uh, gnome image. And you could use any of those. I've chosen the one, the gnome with the little lantern. And I'm going to use Memento Black Ink. And again, I could use the Stamparatus. And I am going to, I think I'm going to stamp him this way because I am going to uh, die cut him out. So I want to make sure that I have room to do that. All right. Now let's do a little bit of coloring. Okay, so I have my Stampin' Blends. I have Dark Smoky Slate. I wanted light. I've misplaced my light. I have Light and Dark Pumpkin Pie. I have my color lifter. I'm going to use light real red. Uh, we do not have garden green Stampin' Blends. Um, I could use Old Olive, but I'm going to be using um, Granny Apple Green, light and dark. And then I also have light and dark soft suede. So I'm going to start with the gnome's hat, and I'm going to start with the dark suede and I'm going to come over here and I am just going to add some dark right there and then I'm going to come back with light soft suede I think in my original I used a crumb cake so you most certainly uh, can just use whatever color that you want So I'm going to kind of blend a 
that dark and then just go ahead and I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to pick up the dark pumpkin pie and I am going to color those little X's on his hat with pumpkin pie. And I'm using the light soft suede. And then I'm giving that pumpkin pie a little bit of time to dry and then I'm just going to go right over that. If I go outside the lines a little bit it'll be okay because I am going to die cut the little gnome out. All right, and then I'm going to bring in our dark smoky slate, and I wish I knew where my light was, but I am going to just go over the lines of his beard that are already there, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the color lifter. So I'm not going to color all of his beard. I'm just going to go over those lines that are already there. And then I'm going to bring in our color lifter and just kind of go over that smoky slate and that'll lighten and kind of spread it a little bit. And then we will be using a Wink of Stella to add a little bit of shine and sparkle to his beard. So that is all I'm going to do to that. Now, my original, I colored his clothes with pumpkin pie, but I think I'm going to switch that up and I'm going to use light uh, granny apple green. And the reason for that is because I am going to place him on a uh, orange or pumpkin pie rather uh, background. So I have decided that we're going to try the granny apple green now you can use the soft suede and have his hands and his shoes the same as his hat and I think I will do that I was going to maybe grab the creme cake but we'll just go ahead and pick out the light soft suede and Maybe he has a glove on here, it's like a mitten possibly. And I'm just going to turn it this way and we're just going to color his shoes. You could use the dark if you wanted to, to have a little contrast. And don't forget he has another hand up here holding the lantern. Don't want to forget that. Plus, I need to bring in that light granny apple green because you can see just a little bit of his sleeve there. So now I am going to use light pumpkin pie for the lantern. And I'm going to use the dark just for the top of that lantern, just for a little contrast. And I don't think I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to leave that X just like it is black. But let me grab Daffodil Delight because we want some light in the lantern 
All right, this is Light, Daffodil Delight. And we are just going to go ahead and add some light. And then the last thing we're going to do is that we're going to use real light, real red, and we're going to uh, color his nose. You could use cherry cobbler or any color that you wanted, actually. Okay. So there is our little gnome. Let's set him aside. We're going to die cut him out in a second. And let's bring in our inside layer. And let's go ahead and do some coloring with this. So this is our inside layer for our card that where we stamped part of the mushroom house. And I'm going to be using Stampin' Blends, uh, Granny Apple Green, Light and Dark, Pumpkin Pie, Light and Dark, and Light Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to start with the dark pumpkin pie. And I am going to um, just go over those lines that are already on our stamped image. And again, going down here. And then I am going to just come up here. Better turn that a little bit. And I'm going to come back with our light pumpkin pie. And then we'll just kind of blend this together. And I'm going to color that little, kind of little, I don't know, little window there a different color. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this together. So I went ahead and did that. And then I'm going to go ahead and come back with the dark and just kind of go over to make a little more contrast with the dark. And then just come back with the light. Uh, pumpkin pie. And just kind of blend it together. All right. Now let's go ahead and bring in, I'm going to bring in our light granny apple green. And we are just going to go ahead and color this little window. And this is kind of like a little window right here, maybe. I'm not sure, but we're going to assume that it is. And then um, I'm going to bring in our dark granny apple green. And we're going to color that doorknob. 
So we're going to kind of alternate. I'm going to do the outside trim of the door with the dark. And we're going to do dark here. We'll just do every other one, and then we'll come back with our light to give it a little bit of a contrast. So come back in with the light. There we go. And now we just need to add some light in our windows. So I'm going to use the light Daffodil Delight. You could use dark. And there is the inside of our card. Okay, let's go ahead and add this to our card. So I'm going to bring our card back in. And we're going to go ahead and add our inside layer. And this is the basic white inside layer. And remember, this is, let me look at my notes to make sure I give you the correct measurements, five and a quarter by four. And this is going to go right in here. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. Okay, let's go ahead and set this aside. And now let's go ahead and bring in our gnome so we can die cut this out. So here are the gnome dies. You have one for the, mush for the mushroom house for each of the gnomes. And then you even have some, some extra. So we are going to need... This one right here. All right, now let's go ahead and die cut that out. Brought in our mini cut and emboss machine, putting in plate one, plate two, our little gnome. I'm going to grab just a little sticky note to make sure it stays down. So we have it exactly like we want. And then we'll put plate two. And then we'll go ahead and run it through. And then I'll just gently take off the sticky tabs and, whoop, and here's our cute little gnome. Now I'm also going to die cut a circle with pumpkin pie and this is from the stylish, the stylish shapes dies and i'm using the third from the largest so this has labels squares and circles and they really um, have nice edging on them so let's go ahead and run this through and then we're going to be ready to put our card together 
and see that nice edging. Don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. Okay, let me put, get this out of the way. So I'm going to bring our card base back, and we have our gnome and our circle. We have our sentiment, and I have cut garden green. This is one and a half by 11. We won't need the entire 11 uh, inch length. We will do a little bit of cutting. Uh, this is going to be our, for our belly band. And then I also have the Gingham DSP Garden Green. And this is one and a fourth by four. So we are going to go ahead and make our belly band. And... I'm just going to kind of lay this in the middle of our card base. And I want to make sure I don't make it too tight because I want it to be able to slip off and on. So I'm going to kind of just kind of fold that. And then I am going to take my bone folder and then I'm going to use my snips going to bring in the liquid glue so we can close that and you could use tear and tape so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and bring in and we're going to pop our little guy, our little gnome, up on our circle. So I'm going to go ahead. And I think I can add three dimensionals. And I could wait till I add this uh, circle on our belly band, but since we're letting it dry. So I'm just going to pop... Our little gnome up right there. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to bring in our belly band. But before I add the DSP, I want to make sure that it's going to work. Because I have had a tendency sometimes to get them too, too tight. And... I think this will work, but it isn't real loose. So let me see if I can kind of kind of work with that a little bit and kind of loosen that up just a little bit. Now we're going to take our designer series paper and we're going to cover up part of that line. There still be a little bit at the top and the bottom, but then this will cover up everything else. And I'm just going to add the DSP on the front of this belly band. You could certainly add um, the DSP on the back of the belly band too. And then I am not going to pop this up. I'm just going to add, just going to add glue, and I'm just going to add it right here. Kind of 
can't get it in the middle, but it will cover up the closure on the belly band. So let's let that dry and let's go ahead and bring in our sentiment. I'm going to use this one and then I am just going to tear but around the sentiment and I'm keeping my thumb close and then I'm tearing with my right hand just kind of gives a different look There we go. So here's our two panel card. It opens up, your kindness does not go unnoticed. You could certainly add some more DSP here and also on the inside if you prefer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add our belly band. And then it will just slide right down. There we go. And then we are going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this up right here in the upper corner. So bring back those dimensionals. And I will slide that belly band off and on a few times and that will kind of loosen it up a little bit too. You don't want it too loose, but you definitely don't want it uh, too tight either. And then I can see where I can kind of put this little bit Wampus there. And then let's bring in, I'm going to use basic rhinestones. And don't forget, we are going to add some shimmer to the beard. So, looks like I need some more basic rhinestones. I'm just about out, aren't I? So, I'll put a couple up there, and then let's bring another one, and let's put it down here. Okay, let me grab my Wink of Stella. And then I'm just going to shake it up. This is the Wink of Stella, then I'm just going to pull it off. And it says push. I'm just going to make sure that I have some glitter there. And I am just going to go over his beard to give it a little bit of shimmer. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. Let me go ahead and bring in our first card. So here is our first card, and the only difference is that I did his clothes in uh, pumpkin pie, where on this one I did the, the granny apple green. Otherwise, um, they're both the same. I did use crumb cake for the hat and the shoes, where I used soft suede uh, on this one. But I added shimmer using the Wink of Stella on the beard. So I hope you like the card. Let me know if you like this card. It's a two-card pan uh, two-panel card, and... If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing by clicking that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload videos. I'm Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. Have a blessed week.